Greetings people, tis I, 480 volts, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Okay, I told a bit of a lie in the previous video. I said that we were done with our publicizing for Chapter 1. No, we still have one more place to publicize, and that's that's Besaid Island itself. Uh, our first hotspot, which we're not ready to do yet. But, uh, yeah, we're almost ready to do Besaid. Um, we've, we've got everything else done on our checklist except for Mount Gagazette. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's, uh, let's head this way. No missions. Some of the Ronso are having a tough time burying their hatred for the Guado. Man, I'd hate to be their elder. Right? Your elder's probably some hornless loser. The Ronso still live here on Mount Gagazette. Kimari is their elder now. And he's working hard to unite his people. Okay, I'll only slightly take Still, back what I said. it seems much quieter here than it used to be. Maybe because summoners no longer come here to climb the sacred mountain. Or maybe it's because most of the Ronsel were wiped out in the previous game! Did that, ever, that, did that ever occur to you, young lady? Oh, is that his girly friend? Kimari! You not look well. Kimari glad. How you been, Kimari? What's it like being an elder? Elder's job difficult. Kimari troubled. Kimari no can sleep in on weekends. Hey, nice of you to drop in, whoever you are. Elder, Leon and A not here. Children have left Mountain, gone to search for Elder's horn. What's going on? Leon and Aid still pups, but bear Ronso future. Say they search for a way to fix Kimari's broken horn. That's not gonna work. If Kimari act like true elder, these things not happen. Ooh. Maybe so. Kimari? Kimari still s still the self-doubter. I summon a Yuna, it is Garrick's honor. That dude is huge. Look how tiny Yuna is. Nice to meet you. Garrick, no Yuna saved Spira, but Ronso not saved yet. Well, what do you want me to do? Um. All right. Well, this is where we um. Hang on, man. I'm just looking at. Okay, let's. Uh, we have an option here, uh, and this is all. All of uh, Mount Gag is that's gonna be, or yeah, it's gonna be. This section here is gonna be filled with this. Is where we have options to say certain things to Ronso, and depending on how well you do, um, depends on certain rewards you get. And I don't know if it affects your completion or not. I would imagine it does. Um, you basically want to make all the Ronso like you. And there are three answers to each of these situations. One of them makes the Ronso dislike you. One of them does nothing, like it makes him just be completely neutral to you, and then one of them makes him like you a bit more. In this case, that's a really nice horn, is neutral, try and be nice to Kamari, makes him dislike you. The one you want is, we'll take care of Leon and Aid. You get no indication that that's the right thing, but just trust, trust your online walkthroughs and sources. Um, yeah, we got to, so this is Mount Gagazette, this music playing, eh, I mean, we heard it before. We heard it in the floating ruins. I mean, it's okay, but yeah, I much prefer the music from the previous game from Mount Kagaset. All right, let's talk to uh, let's talk to Kimari. Kimari worried about Leon and Aid, but Kimari cannot leave Mountain. If you not find Leon and Aid, bring them back to Kagaset. Okay. Let's keep talking to him. You know. Is everything okay? Kimari troubled. Ronso youth grow horns of hatred for Guado. Ah. So, Kamari's not necessarily too happy about this. Well, now we have options uh, to say to Kamari. Now, it's a little different with Kamari. You don't basically need to... See, with the other Ronso, it's basically you just want to make them like you. You just need to... You, you want to put aside your own personal opinions and just get on the Ronso's good side. Just suck up to them. Now, with Kamari... It's a little different. We actually know Kamari, right? You know, so so we want to be a little bit more truthful with him. The thing that you want to say to Kamari is, you have to learn to deal with these things. Yuna. 
because you want to uh, sorry whining make Kimari small yeah it does cheer up Kimari you, you basically want to you know we want to see this guy strong as a leader and if he wants to be a leader he's gotta you know he's gotta handle this stuff right and I can't stand the way Yuna was just like cheer up Kamari it's like he's over here just like man everything just sucks and like we've got young Ronso that are growing hatred for the Guado and there's there's this and that and she's like ah cheer up like it's no big deal like it is a big deal Kamari sorry okay. cheer up that's all she's gonna say all right no, this is not Kamari's girly friend. It's just some girl, Ronso. Uh, must ask hi, uh, high summoner Yuna. Finally, in an aid. Let's see. Please help Kamari. I'm pretty sure is. I'm. Pr if I had to guess, is negative. If I can't promise anything, my guess would be neutral. The one you want is leave it to the Gullwings. That's uh, positive. Thank you. You say anything else? No, that's it. Uh, let's talk to these guys. Many Ronso have lost lives in battle to defend High Summoner Yuna. Um, yes, many Ronso died. That would, my guess would be... Hang on a minute. Actually, the, the thing we want to say is I will never forget their sacrifice. Thank you. Biron and Yankee rejoice now on Farplane. We remember Biron and Yankee from the previous game. It was heavily implied that they died in that game um yeah never forgive seymour never forgive uh guado now if this were any other situation in a square enix jrpg you would probably want to say something like hatred won't solve anything but remember we're kissing up to the ronso now so we want to say i wouldn't forgive them either Yes, never forgive. Like I said, just put aside your personal opinions. Okay, we've already talked to him. Unfortunately, some of these guys are walking around, so I don't know like who we've talked to and who we haven't. So I've already talked to him. Have I talked to him? Many friends and kin died two years ago. Ron so grieved deeper than mountain snow. Uh, I can imagine how you must feel. Ron so always remembered those who are gone. I mean, I think everybody always remembers, but whatever. Guado leaves Guado Salam. Guado planned dark schemes. Um, I'm sure you're right. Even though we know, yes, Guado dark and shifty. It is Guado way. Even though we know that the Guado aren't really plotting anything, they're just they're just trying to find a place to live at this point, and they're just trying to, and they're actually really sorry for what they've done. Yeah, we know that, but remember, we're kissing up. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure we have talked to all these guys. Looks like the only ones I have not talked to, yeah, is this one up here. Uh, build monument to Ronso glory. First, must choose subject. Oh, you're. Oh, we don't get an option for for her. Okay. Well, there's one more Ronso, and he's up here. Now I could use that warp pad to warp to a point of interest. Um, there's no reason for you not to do that. I don't think there's any treasure here. But I'd like to at least get into a few battles and, you know, uh, and, uh, see some enemies. So let's say we do that, right? Even though it, it is a long trek. If you remember Mount Gagazette from the previous video, it is a long trek. But there's no, there's, there's no treasure on Mount Gagazette, so it's not a huge deal. Hmm, I was, I was actually really hoping that Owaka would sell ethers, but he doesn't. That's eh, too bad. Otherwise, I would not mind just spamming uh, Riku's MP. Ooh, which way do I go? Is it this way? I can never remember. Um, wow, a lot of branches. So far, the enemies I'm running into are, are enemies we've already fought before, so... I don't know. I feel like I'm going in circles, honestly. Ah! 
Oh, is this a new enemy? White Fang. Okay. Well, I'm just going to, uh, here, you do that. I'm having Riku use a lot of, uh, fire magic, considering, you know, we're on a freaking mountain. Figure that would be the... The logical choice that everybody here is right. used to ice, so therefore they're not used to fire. That would be my guess. And like I said, I'm okay with buying, uh, or using potions because, you know, we can just buy more from Owaka. I need to buy lots of stuff from Owaka. Alright, so I think that warp pad at the beginning would have led us to here. So that's good. I'm assuming we're on the right track then. That was a fun battle. Um, <clears throat> let me explain what happened. I had an airman, an old enemy, and two of those white fangs. The airmen happened to get oversold. Okay, whatever. Well, I found out something about the airmen's, or sorry, about the uh, white fangs. They have an ability called Killer Strike. I think it's just an instant kill move, and they they each decided to do that. One on Yuna, the other on Riku. So I had to. Uh, the party was thrown into. Uh, defense mode and I had to to um, you know raise them back up get them back on their feet but we managed to walk away from that and Yuna learned or sorry Rika learned Thundara so I'm gonna get her to learn Watera and then I'll probably switch her back to a thief I don't know I may keep her on black mage for a little longer just to learn level three elementals I probably should probably be a good idea actually how's her MP doing yeah she's using a lot Alright, that area looks like it no, it's no this is right. This is right. This is right. Uh oh. I hope this is not Xanarkin Ruins. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's actually gonna lead me to Xanarkin Ruins. Hmm, so I think I did go the wrong way. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna backtrack to that warp point. And then I'll figure out what I wanna do. Alright, so here's the warp point, so we just step on it, and then we can head to... We can head to the mountain gate, which, what is that? Is that where we started? I hope that's where we started. Yeah, it is. Good, let me just use that safe sphere real quick. Now let me get back. See, you don't have to make the trek at all. You can go straight to the different places, and I think where I just was was probably mountain trail. Yeah, I'm gonna take another way. I'm gonna go... No, I just came that way. Hmm. Oh, there's something down here I didn't see that... No. Hmm. Hang on, I'm gonna figure out where I need to go. Okay, we're back here. Um, we're back at that spot that I said looked like it probably led to Xanarkin Ruins. Um, before I go, in, this is actually where we need to be. Before I go any further, um, uh, I've been walking around, I've been getting to a lot of battles. Um, they've been learning a bunch of stuff. Um, none of it's terribly important. I, I will just say that Riku did learn Watera, so that means she has all level 2 elementals. So I put her back on Thief for now, just because I want the quick offense of a physical character in this area. And Pain learned Excalibur. So, I have her currently working on Assault, which will cast Berserk, Haste, Shell, and Protect on the party. I imagine that would be pretty incredible at certain times. Uh, and Yuna's just learning stuff as a gun mage. I got nothing, like, super for her. Actually, I got her on the wrong, um... I got her on the wrong... Dress Sphere. She's actually... She's not on Gun Mage, she's on Gunner. Uh, it's alright. Anyway, let's just take this path over here. Let's just walk. And we go down into this cave. Or, no, never mind. Just kidding. We go over here. Now we're inside this cave. Now you can get into battles here, so be careful. Now we should remember this area from Final Fantasy X. This was where we had, uh, there was a lot of water in this area. You can wander around the entire area if you want to. There's our teleport pad. 
I, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you right now, there's no reason to. There's literally nothing here. All that water, it's gone. It's weird. You can actually just walk through the areas that you previously had to swim to. It's kind of weird. But anyway, this is the Ronso. This is the last Ronso you want to talk to. So make sure you come and talk to this guy. Uh, Power of Faith Wayne. Cave water disappears. Change will come to Ronso too. Um, what you want to say is a change for the better, I hope. And Ronso hope this too. All right. And then we can just use our teleporter. This place, oh, let's go back to the Mountain Faith or Mountain Gate. Yeah, you don't have to wander at all if, if you don't want to. That, that's There's no reason to, except for gaining uh, experience. But that place is the Faith Scar, if you want to just quick travel over there. You just use that teleporter. But yeah, I just wanted to, I wanted to walk there because, you know, I wanted the XP. Alright, well, we're done with our business in G Mount Gagazette. Which means, ladies and gentlemen, that we are done with all of our optional stuff. Let me just talk to Riku. No wonder Kamari seems troubled. He takes his duty so seriously. As well he should. He's leader of the Ronso. He's pretty important, you know? Not every problem goes away with the coming of the calm. Now that is something very interesting. Um, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, these these games, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy some potions from uh, Owaka and try to work towards paying off his debt. Um, I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah, we, uh, whenever we save the world in these Final Fantasy games, we just, we tend to think, oh, everything's happy-go-lucky now. And sometimes the, the, oh, uh, the cutscenes will sort of imply that, but, um... Yeah, if you think about it, like, whenever you change the world, like, whenever we do what we do in these games, you're gonna change the world. I'll just stock up on Phoenix Downs real quick, and that's good. Yeah, that, that look at how much that brought his debt down. Okay, that's cool. I'll be working on his debt collectively throughout the LP, and uh, we'll see how we look towards the end of Chapter 2, but yeah. But yeah, you can be, um, whenever you change the world drastically, like whenever you save the world in these escape, at the end of the day, the world that you're in is drastically changed thanks to you. And the, the game always implies, oh, it's always for the better. But if you think about it, some of these changes are so drastic, it's not always gonna be happy-go-lucky for everybody. And I really like how this game does a good job of showing that. Um, because you know, in the previous game, we saved Spira, right? Well. Now we see there are some not so positive sides to it. Like we got all these split factions going on and we've got, you know, some of these people are just, you know, trying to figure out, you know, like the Guado and the Ronso, they're kind of having a hard time right now. So it's just, it's not always, it's not always rainbows and unicorns for everybody. And I like how this game shows it. And I like that we have the option to go to all of these optional places and get the backstory on this place at our own pace. Everything that we have done in the last several videos has been optional. And, uh, you know, you could just blaze through the game and do your, your hot spots if you wanted to. But I like that you're given the option to do all of this stuff if you want to. But, uh, yeah, so uh, in the next video, we'll actually begin our first hot spot. So... Yeah, thank you for bearing with me this far. Um, anyway, that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. My name's 480 Volts. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you next time. Peace.